One of the largest single aquatic habitats in the world has about 6.3 million gallons of water flowing through it. But where does that water go? How do we filter it? What happens? On this brand new series called How Georgia Aquarium Works, we're going to talk about where the water goes in Ocean Voyager. Because of Ocean Voyager's enormity, the water actually gets pulled in two different ways. The first way is by pulling from the surface through our skimmer boxes that, you guessed it, skim the surface for organics. The second way we do this is by pulling from the bottom drains. Both of these ways lead to the same place called the sump. The sump is actually set a little bit lower than Ocean Voyager, so we use gravity to pull the water in there through the skimmer boxes and through those bottom drains. Once the water has arrived in the sump that's below those plates right there, it then goes through the rest of our filtration system, including our protein skimmers that are behind this wall here. This is actually one of the biggest protein skimmer rooms in the entire world. You can't see it here, but it keeps going. It also goes through our sand filters and the rest of the filtration system that is actually underneath Ocean Voyager. Once the water is clean and ready to go, it then goes through our duration tower that's in that back corner right there. The duration tower also uses gravity to put the water back into the exhibit. Because we have such an incredible filtration system not only in this exhibit, but all of our exhibits, we are able to recycle about 99% of our water. That's over 11 million gallons total. And now you know one of the ways Georgia Aquarium works. Let us know what you want to see next.